Hey everyone, welcome back to Kelson's Arcade. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? Nani! And in this session, we're going to be doing a Happy Thanksgiving Simpsons Arcade One Up special. Full review on the Simpsons Arcade One Up cabinet. We're going to let you know what we think. Is this a great family Thanksgiving gift? Or is it a waste of 700 bucks? Let's find out. Let's find out. We'll give you a quick tour around the game room. We'd like to get your thoughts. Do we replace the eye arcade in the game room with The Simpsons? Maybe move the eye arcade out to my office. What do you think it's called here? We'll give you a run through of all the new features in this cabinet, all the design changes. Obviously, get into lots of gameplay, and then we'll be back for our summary. Let's go. So just checking out the uh, kind of physical aspects of the cabinet first. Obviously you've got the four player deck here with the trackball for the bowling game. Excellent lit marquee. Let's try and get you some better contrast on that. This looks really good. Somebody posted some comments online about the quality of the edges. Um, I think that might have been a defect on their cabinet. That looks pretty cool. Definitely one of the better ones. Uh, obviously has the 3D molded coin doors as well. These look super cool. Definitely makes it look like a more qu high quality item. Um, love the stall. We always like to get the matching stall, so fantastic that it comes with it. Uh, the sounds, I know a lot of people have commented about the sound being low. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I honestly don't know why you would need that any louder. If uh, if you can't hear this, standing next to it, you need to get a hearing aid. So yeah, great stereo speakers. You've got the headphone jack there as well. You want to play with sound in privacy. And of course you've got, you've got on, online live play as well here and leaderboard uh, for the main Simpsons title. Not for the bowling. Would have liked to have seen a leaderboard at least for the bowling. Maybe they'll add that in a future update. Um, obviously comes with the riser. I don't know why you would buy an arcade one up not on a riser. So great to see that included by default. Perhaps, arguably, you would have liked to have seen something on the front here. Maybe a Konami logo at least. But the side art at least is fantastic. Love that. And uh, you know, overall, I think just the quality of this, you know, compared to the legacy cabinets, the viewing angle, um, they've really taken in some of the fan feedback and improve this cabinet overall. Really is very well built and aesthetically very pleasing. Oh, and then we totally forgot to mention the sign. So just, you know, in terms of, um, you know, value, this is not your $20 sign that you can find on Amazon. It's actually pretty good quality, much bigger, definitely a nice addition to your games room. So, you know, if you are interested in getting this Simpsons cabinet, yeah, you can pick it up for 500 bucks at Walmart without um, the sign or the stall. Um, I, I still believe you do get a light up marquee in the riser. Um, but personally for me, I'd rather have the, the tin sign and the stall for the 700 bucks. But uh, at least you've got options there. If, uh, if you don't like the stalls, I think the, uh, the Walmart version is exceptional value. 
All right, so let's jump into some gameplay. Uh, first of all, obviously we've got the two games, The Simpsons and The Simpsons Bowl, and each game has its own individual settings. So we go into settings here, you can set a number of lives, difficulty, whether you want the sound on the attract mode, and uh, one of my favorite features is obviously the scan lines. Um, I do think, obviously, running this on a non-CRT screen, it does make it more pixelated. I like the scan lines personally, but you've got the option there, so if you don't like them, you can turn them off. Save and exit. Um, obviously, you've got an online leaderboard for the Simpsons game. Going down to the bowling game, this is not online enabled. Limited settings in here. We turn the difficulty onto expert. I think it's a little bit easy, but if you've got very young kids, they're going to like it on the easy mode. Um, not really much else you can change there. No scan lines option on this game. So let's start off. Let's take a look at The Simpsons first. We'll show you the intro and then we'll cut through to some other scenes and show you some gameplay from some of the later levels as well. Some of the reviews had shown a little bit of lag on this intro sequence. I think if you really want to pick a fault, you can probably find it. But honestly, the majority of people are not going to notice this. If this bothers you, you really have no business buying one-ups. Hey, come join in as, uh, as Lisa loves. I've got to say, I don't know if Arcade One up, uh, upgraded the joysticks in this cabinet. I certainly haven't seen anything posted to confirm that, but they feel a hell of a lot better. Uh, maybe the springs are heavier. Um, certainly these are better than the sandwars that I've put in other cabinets, I would say. But definitely one of my favourite arcade beat em ups. I always remember as a kid, while you could get Turtles on the Super Nintendo, which was close to the arcade version, you could never get this on the Super Nintendo, and that always disappointed me. Definitely played it a lot in the arcade, and uh, super pleased to have it uh, in the home arcade now. And, uh, you know, be able to uh, enjoy playing this with my own kids. So you can also play this online with other players who have this cabinet. Now, this isn't really a reason to make me want to buy this cabinet. I'd rather play it at home with people. And in particular, you know, we had a two-player um, modded cabinet where we could play this, but I just thought it'd be cool for Lily and her friends to play this four-player. Um, but if you want, you can play it online, and I know some people may like that. And I've joined a game here where it appeared two people were waiting in the lobby, but I think they're just sitting there and not actually playing the game. Um, they do join, join in in a moment. You do seem to get a little bit of lag when someone joins online, but you know, really no big deal. This is just a, a fun arcade game, nothing too serious. A little fast forward here, I did play it through to the end on, um, on my first uh, try of this online, so here's the end sequence. Yeah. 
So let's check out um, the Simpsons Bowling next. Shows you the game controls here on the loading screen, pretty straightforward. Takes a little while to load, obviously using a fair amount more compute power than the 16-bit uh, or 32-bit games. So let's start off a quick two-player game here. Standard, normal controls. You might have seen a previous video we did. If you scroll down until it starts going up, you'll unlock Grandpa. Yeah, you could be Grandpa. Then so Lily's going to be player one. I personally really like Apu. Go on, Lil, start us off. I'm a pro if you didn't know. Let's try. Oh, it's on expert mode? Yeah. There we go, you get it. Strike! So basically, you uh, set the curve, position. and then yeah, you player. position with the trap ball, and then press attack to start, and then you've got to do spin the trap ball in the green. Hey. We have been playing this a fair amount. You're going to want to put it in expert mode. My favorite is Grandpa. Trying a different way. Got on green. Double. Let's see who can get a turkey. First. Turkey for Thanksgiving special. Good job, Lils. Turkey for Thanksgiving. Let's see if Apu can get on too. sticking with us thus far if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this please do subscribe to the channel now before i get into my summary as is customary lily what do you think i personally think it is a good cabinet good is it in your top 10 possibly possibly in the top 10 check back soon we will be doing an update in top 10 we have 20 Okay, one up cabinets now, so we'll be picking our top 10 out of those 20 and going through those in order. So, possibly in Lily's top 10. Yes. Uh, do you think it's a good Thanksgiving game? Yes. Yeah? Uh, um, is there any, guess... any other cabinets you'd rather get right now that we haven't got? Well, I don't know, I haven't looked in a while. Okay. <laughs> but I also like this cabinet because the coin thingies. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Light up, Marquee. <laughs> yeah. And the bowling. So what's your favourite game right now? Bowling. It's yeah. so fun. So we already had the Simpsons game, but 
obviously you've got four players here as well, so hopefully when some friends come over you can get a four player game going. Yeah, it's going to be everyone. But the bowling is definitely the game that we've played most, and I hate yeah. to say it, but Lily is the winner so far. I need to up my game. So, big thumbs up from Lily. Yes. For me, I love this cabinet. Super happy uh, we got it. It's definitely going to be in my top 10. Um, I think the new form factor with the molded doors, the stall included, the tin sign, the riser. Uh, the light-up marquee, all of these are things that I would want to add on after. So for me, 700 bucks is a great price. Uh, I would have bought it just with Simpsons on, but I think the bowling game really gives this longevity and you're going to be playing this uh, for years to come. So huge thumbs up from Kelsey's Arcade. If you haven't got this, if you have a multi-arcade game room, this is a must as far as I'm concerned. Limited on space, yeah, you can get this on a multi-game. Um, but if you're building out that arcade, this has got to be in your top 10 for me. So, huge thumbs up from Castle's Arcade. Please check back soon. We'll be doing a top 10 uh, Christmas special. And then uh, next cabinets we're going to be getting are going to be Terminator 2 and Killer Instinct. So check back soon for those. In the meantime, happy gaming! Happy gaming!